Hi there, it's Ashley here, and I have this week's Stamp Kit Repeat video to share with you for your next stamp. I also have the winner to announce for the Your Next Stamp YouTube giveaway, and the winner is Bunny Doby. So congratulations, Bunny, on winning. You won that huge prize pack from Your Next Stamp. So all you have to do is on the Your Next Stamp website, just go to the bottom of the website and click the Contact Us link and contact Karen to win your goodies. So congratulations, and let's get into today's video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing how to make these really sweet little Mother's Day Polaroid magnetic frames. And they are so perfect to give with a picture for Mother's Day. I think they look so cute and they can basically just go on any size picture and they'll stick to the fridge and you've got the magnetic bit on the back there. So I just thought these were so festive and spring and it just makes me really excited for Mother's Day to arrive. And then this one has the cute little mouse there and you can see the back has the magnets. So I'll start off just by sharing with you all the products that I use to make them and then I'll get right into the process video so you can see how I did it. So to begin with, I use the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink. And I will link all this in the description box below so you can find it over in the Your Next Stamp store. I also use the wire snips and these gorgeous gumdrops. These are the Watermelon Party Sparkly Gumdrops. These are probably my new favorite. They are so sparkly and you can see it just really adds something on the cute little frame there. It's so glittery and it's a little bit of nice pop of dimension there as well. I also use the Watermelon Party 6x6 paper pad and I'm just loving this paper pad. It is so stinking cute for this summer and I use two different pages out of it. I use this one with the hearts and then I also use the one with the little diagonal stripes there. Then I just used a magnetic sheet and I got this at the dollar store. You can buy these to put over your registers and you get three in a pack and I just cut it down. And so I use that for the magnetic sheet and it's not super thick but it's a nice um, sturdy weight. Then I'm going to be using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers today. I have the 24 pack and then I'm going to be using my water brush. It's basically like a paintbrush and then there's water in the barrel so that you don't have to use like a cup of water. And then my favorite paper to use for the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers is the Strathmore Bristol Smooth Vellum Surface Paper and I purchased this at Michael's. And then this cute stamp set is the other thing that I use for this project. This is Flowers and Smiles and I just fell in love when I saw these little mice with all the flowers. And I used the Happy Mother's Day sentiment and I actually just cut it apart so that I could have the happy above the Mother's Day portion. Don't ever be afraid to cut your um, sentiments apart because you can use them in so many more ways that way. There's also coordinating dies you can purchase separate for that set. And then I used the Photo Booth Polaroid die and I love this from the new release. It has stitching around it and it's just so perfect for these cute little magnetic frames. So let's get started and to begin with I'm just going to stamp out these little images. So I'm just using the black olive ink with the Strathmore Bristol White Smooth Paper. And then I'm just doing the first little mouse here from the Flowers and Smiles set. And then I'm just stamping out that second image. And now I'm just going to pick out the papers that I wanna use for my little Polaroid die here. So I'm taking this cute little striped one and then I'm also going to use the one with the little pink hearts on it. So I'm just going to run that through my die cutting machine. I'm using the little Polaroid frame die here. And then I just take my sewing scissors just to separate it from the die and then I'm going to run through the pink one here. And now I'm gonna run it through on that magnetic sheet and because it's a little bit thicker, I just run it through twice and it die cut out perfectly. So then you can just set it right on top of there and it's so easy. So now I'm just doing the second one. And now I'm gonna cut out my little images with the coordinating dies. So I'm just using the wire snips to trim them apart. And then I'm just gonna use some post-it note tape just to adhere them down so they stay still while I put them through the die cutting machine and they don't move around. So now that I have my images trimmed out, I can use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and my water brush here. And I just wanted to show, I brought the little photo frames to the side there and also these little gumdrops. That's one tip I like to do when I'm coloring is bring in the papers or the embellishments that I'm gonna be using so I can see what colors will really match nicely. 
So I'm going to be starting with the light green color and I'm using the water brush just to blend it out. And another tip too is if I'm ever stuck on what colors I want to use, I love taking the gumdrop packages and they're always just filled with such wonderful inspiration and colors that really go nicely together and maybe I wouldn't have thought of. This color combination here is just gorgeous. So that's what I went with for these cute little images. So I'm just doing all the little leaves here on the little plant. And then I go in with the lighter green color. And I just had the 24 set of zig markers and I think that's a perfect collection. It has a, every single color you need and it has a nice assortment of colors. So I feel like you can get a good range with the watercolor. So I just feel like the bigger sets aren't as good of a bang for your buck. I really like the 24 pack. So if you're interested in getting them, the 24 pack is definitely a good choice. So I'm just doing that cute little flower there. And I wanted the line a little bit, so I just used my white jelly pen to cover that up. And I just added in a little bit more of the dark pink at the top there. And then I used the yellow to add in the little middle part of the flower there. And then I just did the, all the centers of these little flowers as well. Then I'm taking the gray color, and I started with the light gray, but it was a little bit too light, so I ended up using the blue gray. And I'm just adding on where I want the darkest shading bits to go. And then I can go in with my water brush and it just blends so nicely for you. I really love the Strathmore paper. I had a hard time with the Zig markers until I started using that paper and I just love them ever since. Then I just took a little bit of the light pink for the ears and the cheeks. And I went out of the line just a little bit, so I was trying to clean that up a tiny bit. And then I'm using that same blue-gray color for the mouse. He is just so cute with that little flower pot. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my water brush. And I did take the pink again just for the cheeks and inside the little ears. And then I'm going to use this pretty purple color. I think it's called Violet, and I'm just going around all the big flowers with the purple. And then I'm gonna use my water brush to blend that out. Then I'm gonna take that bright pink color that I used for the first little mouse's flower, and I'm gonna do all the tiny little flowers. And now I'm just going to do that tag blue just to incorporate a little bit of that blue color that was on the gumdrops. And then I'm just taking this beige color and I'm just coloring in the little pot. And then I take the light pink just for the base, um, the bottom part of where the mouse is sitting just to give a little bit of color down there as well. So cute. And then I just take my black jelly pen for the eyes and nose and I just took the white jelly pen to add a dot on each of the cheeks. So now I'm just taking my sentiment that I want to use that says Happy Mother's Day and I trim apart between the Happy and Mother's Day so that I can um, put them on top of each other. And don't ever be afraid to trim apart your stamps. You can get so much more use out of them and it won't damage them. Just be really careful cutting them apart. Use a nice um, sharp pair of scissors. So I just stamped on the Happy Mother's Day there. And I'm just taking my adhesive and adhering that on top of the little magnetic Polaroid frame. And this was so easy to do. This would be a great Mother's Day gift if you wanted to get your kids involved and they could help color up the little images or if you were making it for your mother, that would be so cute. So these are the two little frames done. And now I'm just gonna add on some gumdrops. So I put the green there and then I decided I wanted the, that cute lime green on the other side. And then I put the bright pink with the pink one. And I just love how that turned out. It's so sparkly and I can't wait to try these out. And I hope some of you will try making these too. I think they're such a cute little gift for Mother's Day. So thank you so much for watching. I will put all the links in the description box. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.